Hello there, this is the first tutorial video for Flashy Tools and basically all we're going to do today is cover the layout and introduce you guys to brand new members to Flash. So once you've opened up Flash you should first of all be met by this screen. Now you'll notice this thing uh, here in the middle and that's basically just acting you what template or what format you'd like to open Flash up into. The only thing you really need to worry about is the fact that Whatever version you open is going to affect the code that you need to use. As being as we're not going to be covering code in these tutorials, I'll just click on Action Script 2. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, you can see we have a brand new project open. Basically, all we're going to do now is have a quick look at the layout of Flash, how it's been presented to us. So here we have what is called the stage. Okay, and we have a white box in the middle of the stage. And that's basically everything that you make and everything that you'll be animating later on will be showing up in this white box. And then around the white box we have a grey area. And that basically just means whatever exists in there isn't going to be showing on the stage. However, you are still able to click on that item and drag it across into your stage. Now, just above that we have the timeline. For all of you who are going to be using Flash to animate, this could be a very, very important window for you guys. Now you can see it covers the frames here, and it'll go into all sorts of different layers. Um, I'll cover the timeline a little bit more in depth later on, but just to let you guys know, this is going to be a very, very important window for you animators later on. Just over to the left here, we also have our tools window. Um, again, everything that you are going to make in Flash is going to come from these tools. Okay, so this could be a very, very important window for you guys, one which I'm going to cover very in depth in the next tutorial. And then just over here on the right, we also have our properties window. Okay, again, that's something I'm going to cover in the next tutorial. And finally, we have this tab window here. Okay, now you're able to customize this with whatever you would like. For example, if you just go up into Window and come down to, let's say, Components, we have a Components window now that's appeared by here. Then all we need to do to add this to that tab is to drag it on, and you'll see that a little blue bar has appeared now. Let go, and it's now been added to that list of tabs. If you want to get rid of it, you just drag it off, click on X, and it's gone. So in these tabs, I have my colors, so I'm able to make whatever color I would like. I have my swatches, so a bunch of pre-chosen colors. Yours should look exactly the same as mine. There's, not, there's nothing I've set up beforehand. It's something that Flash has chosen for me. Uh, alignment, so you can choose to align certain objects with other objects. Information, freeform tool, or the free transform tool. We have the library. So when you're making symbols and things like that later on, which I will cover, they'll appear in your library. Motion presets for getting, for example, a ball to bounce. And then your project window. I should also point out that this view, uh, this arrangement of windows, is what has been given to us on the classic view. If you'd like to change how the windows are actually organized, you just come up to this top tab, click on it, and say for example you want to go into animator mode, click on animator, and it rearranges the windows for you. So again, we still have a lot of the same things. We have the stage down here, timeline up here, the toolbar has now been moved in between the timeline and the stage. We have colors and swatches on the left, alignment, transform, and info, here, motion presets down at the bottom, properties has been squished up into this window on the right, and then your library is down here at the bottom as well. I would also like to point out that changing the view doesn't erase any work that you've done. So if I was to draw something, and then I was to change my view back to classic, that thing that I've drawn will still be there. Okay, so that was the layout in Flash. The next tutorial will cover tools and how to use them. Thank you very much. Take care.